two hours we had of watching some fantastic agency films, and what an absolute privilege. One of the things that struck me was how long some of them are. I mean, my God, seriously, we're in a world of snackable content, and I think the first one we started on was 11 minutes long. However, less on that one and more on the goodie bag. Um, first of all, I'd like to introduce um, my panel. Slightly diminished tonight, but very two of the most key important people on that panel. Simon Carter, Charles Burn, you come and join me. In the process, I've lost three rather marvellous and very scary women in Jenny Ashmore, Deborah Dolce, and uh, Catherine Kehoe, but they were very much part of that panel, as I'm sure you will echo. And we're very privileged to have here um, Simon Carter, Executive Director of Marketing at Fujitsu, which I just learned an amazing fact, actually. You're a bit nervous which fact I'm going to give. But Absolutely. <laughs> um, responsible for 27 billion, not million, 27 billion um, global company is Fujitsu, which is quite phenomenal. On top of that, he's also non-executive director for Coventry University Brackets, London. Would love more explanation around that. Secretary to the Armed Forces Committee for the Worshipful Company of Market Halls. Um, and past chairman and trustee for the charity TSBC, which I learned tonight as the Small Business Community. Consultancy. Consultancy. There we go. Nice. Um, and Charles, meanwhile, who's had a particularly busy year as um, director of fundraising at the Royal British Legion, which um, he joined in 2012 after a previous spell at Macmillan, and also um, spending a man of years in the retail business, particularly around Heathrow's retail offering. Um, Charles is responsible, and I hope you've delivered, 85 million of gross income this financial year in what must have been an incredibly successful year for, for, for the Legion itself. Um, a member of the executive board and very much part of the work that's been done this year. So a huge honor and a pleasure to have them um, here. Um, I think the point as we come on to talk about the criteria is the way we were judging them was as new business films. It wasn't that you would come across them in your everyday life. You might sometimes come across them on a website, but the truth is we were looking at them as through the new business lens. And so whilst many of them were very entertaining, the truth was I think the most important criteria is almost the bottom one. Did we immediately want to get in contact with them? Did we want to go and see them and spend some time with them? So those that worked were the ones that had a sort of a strong narrative thread and ideally some evidence-based claims. Um, but without any more ado, and before I ask any questions, just to show you the film of the shortlisted films. It's like nothing I've seen before. Here she is. Sounds stupid, but it just draws you in. Isn't she beautiful? What do I think about Wayne and Kennedy? I uh, never give compliments, so I would say they're not bad. Look at your man. Now back. Working with Wyden is like uh, taking a ride in a fun fair. It's deliciously scary because they take you to unexpected places and at the same time it feels incredibly safe. that the short list was widening Kennedy, LBI and Rainey Kelly, um, a fantastic collection. Um, I'm going to start with you Charles, what, uh, what would you say got those three onto the short list? Um, it was, some parts of it were hard but some parts of it were actually fairly easy. Um, there's a, a good principle in creative work sometimes that is much more powerful if you can show uh, your work rather than tell. Uh, and those three agencies did that particularly well. Yeah. Uh, you were absolutely right about the length of, of some of the films that we, we saw. 
you thought at times they were going to split it into part one, part two, like The Hobbit. It was long, and you know, no one had the time to, um, or, or the patience to sit through sort of uh, some of the longer ones. So the, uh, the shortlisted ones all had an immediacy and an impact that grabbed us straight away. They're either intriguing or engaging straight away. Uh, and finally, the other sort of key element was um, they gave the opportunity for the client, the customer, to speak, and, and that was really powerful. Absolutely. Um, what would you say, Simon, in terms of what surprised you about those films that you hadn't quite expected when you turned up on that particular day? Um, unicorns. <laughs> Yeah, you don't often see unicorns. Um, so I think for me, probably the, the biggest surprise was how awful um, some of them were <laughs> and how some of the greatest agencies that this country's ever produced or the world's ever produced uh, produced um, some pretty average film. Um, and I think it's, you know, it, I just think that, that you need, you know, if I come to the next question, you need to think about, you know, what the audience is looking for. And, and, and there was some where... Um, clearly, the creative director has been desperate to uh, to use his great idea or her great idea, um, and so they use it for the the agency film, um, and it just didn't work. Um, you know, one was 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 so um, cringeful that we just had to watch it to the very end just to see if it got any better, and it didn't. You know, it was a bit like X Factor; you wanted your little buzzer to sort of stop. I don't want to watch any more, um, but but they, they carried on going really. Um, yeah, as, as, as you said, so I think you know, length was, was, was quite a surprise in, in terms of you know, how do you really understood what, what your clients did with these films. You know, 11 minutes is just you know, too long for anything, really. Um, and then finally, I think, it's just about use the medium. And, yeah, and it was interesting, you know, in fact, interesting that the three there, you know, they used the medium really well. They used the medium to talk about the creative work. They used it to talk about the people in the agency. They used it to talk about uh, the credentials of, 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 the, of the customers. Uh, it's a great medium to do that, whereas some of them didn't even do any of that. And, and it, it just fell very flat, unfortunately. OK, a question for both of you. It's starting with Charles. How do you think they could improve their films in the future? What would be your headlines to give them next year. It's interesting how much the, uh, the response to this is exactly the same as the um, response for many of the other categories. It, it's got to be immediately uh, engaging and impactful. So coming back to that thing about it being short, you know, it, there's a short window, so make it concise and make it impactful, I think, to start with, definitely. Absolutely. Simon, do you have anything to add to that? Um, again, as, as I said, I think it's about use the medium, think of the audience. Um, so I'm a client, and quite often I will show the rest of the board the film. Um, and so if the film is 11 minutes long, I'm very, qu very quickly going to lose, lose them. Similarly, you know, return on investment is, is the most important thing for clients. And if you can't demonstrate that, um, then I don't know what. And as, as I said earlier, around you know, use, use the medium to, to you know, as, as we just saw one of the examples there, and, and, and several of them used it. You know, get agents, get um, uh, uh, client credentials, get clients to say things about you in your film um, is fantastic. And then my final word is, of course, is um, use more unicorns. <laughs> Not that you're leading the audience in any Not at all, no. <laughs> OK. No, just, just add to that, the client voice is very, very mm. powerful. You know, some, some of the films are literally uh, a series of talking heads from almost every person in the agency, it felt. Uh, much more powerful if you've got a, an impressive client coming up and saying these people are absolutely worth using. So. Absolutely, totally agree. So rather than me announce it, Simon, would you like to talk through the, uh, the, the final decision and the winner? Because there was a lot of debate, has to be there said. There was a lot of debate. We, were, we, we, actually, we, we didn't have a consensus. We have a split vote on, on the panel. Um, and all of the three that have been shortlisted were head and shoulders uh, over the other um, 15 or so that we saw. Um, but the one that we eventually decided was the winner, um, having considered all of the points that we both of us have said today, um, and am I building up enough to the, uh, the excitement? <laughs> um, so after tossing a coin and, and arguing and, and trading um, biscuits over who we thought would win, we decided that the winner would be dun dun wider dun. than Kennedy. Woo! <laughs> What do I think about Wayne and Kennedy? I uh, never give compliments, so I would say they're not bad. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Working with Wyden is like uh, taking a ride in a fun fair. It's deliciously scary because they take you to unexpected places and at the same time it feels incredibly safe because they are really very smart people. 
it really hasn't been a business as much as it's been a collaboration and a partnership. I think you really got to have the courage to stand for certain things. Wyden Kennedy, I would argue, are almost as responsible as Nike for what Nike is today. So working with Wyden for me is honestly always mind-blowing, inspirational. I can't remember a meeting where I didn't left more inspired or more energized. It was really great to see how the pride in the organization increased. People were really proud working for three. The customers' feedback was just amazing. They popped into our stores and fed back, they contributed, because it was all about creation and sharing. Hello, old friend Ellen DeGeneres. They come up with interesting things to say about our brands that people willingly talk about and expand using digital media. We've had fantastic social and digital buzz from the campaign that goes way beyond the TV and digital investment we've actually put in. So there's quite a bit to be excited about. In an unexpected turn of events, more exciting than a rocket ship. They recognize that they are a force in the culture, that their job is not just to sell product. Their job is to you know, have a position in the culture itself. What better way to start your morning than a moonwalking pony? I love that commercial so much, I'm about to buy me some Old Spice. Sometimes we've had campaigns come out of what might have been perceived as a throwaway comment and suddenly the creative teams have thought actually we can use that, leverage it, and then that becomes the main thrust of the campaign. Sometimes it's quite dry or it could be about a very rational thing, but they've got the ability to actually do it with a twist that feels like it's more personal, human, interesting and entertaining. Two stride gum, because we've got mad intense flavor. We've got Doug and we can do whatever the hell we want. Wow. They challenge your preconceptions about what makes great advertising. I gotta be me. Wyden has managed to make these transitions to new technologies, new media, without losing the essence of what Wyden Kennedy actually is, which is a, a bit of an aesthetic pleasure machine. There's just something extraordinary about how they really dig into, I think, deep human insights and connect with the heart and soul of people and the brands. And brings that to life in what are really extraordinary and innovative ways of communicating with people. I think they are as passionate uh, about our brand as, as we are, and sometimes even more. What Wyden brought us is this kind of fresh look on consumers and this naivety and saying, no, we shouldn't assume anything, let's go and find out this great consumer truth. Wyden's produced some great work. You know, right now they're deemed the best of the best and selfishly, you know, I want the best of the best doing their best on this brand. They're not bad. <laughs> I'm on a horse.